Right, so we're getting into some serious, serious spooky stuff here. Witches and human sacrifices. The beautiful man is gone. Oh, gosh. And that was like, man, they they stabbed into the birthday cake for uh, cousin Susie. Whatever. So, right, all of a sudden, now we're in the, a, a part in the movie where you don't really know uh, if it's you know it's real now there's there's some real witch stuff going on it's it's brutally real and uh, there's one part that I forget I forgot to mention when she's uh, she opens the door to her room this is now prior to the uh, the bad stuff she uh, opens the door and all the couples are dancing and the swinging jazz music is playing right and she's oh maybe I'll uh, Maybe I'll get dressed. So she goes back in the room and she gets all dressed up nice. And she, as soon as she opens the door, the music stops, right? No music. No one is in the room at all. Just a click tock, tick tock of the clock. And it's it. It's totally dead silent. All the people have vanished like, a, like the guys in the car, you know? He's just gone. And all the people are gone. And the music is stopped. And like, it just really freaks you out, you know? It's just a really, you're not expecting that. You're not expecting that. And that's a good thing, because that it just freaks you out, it makes you scared, the unexpected. So uh, anyway, we're going into uh, another part of the movie where uh, a lot of cool stuff is going to happen, and I don't want to talk about it until after it happens. So uh, we'll get back to the adventures of uh, Professor Driscoll and... Uh, uh, Elizabeth Selwyn and uh, the people in uh, the town called Whitewood in a horror hotel.